yes so welcome back to my channel and in this video i will be explaining how you can construct the phylogenetic tree of 16s rrna partial gene sequence of any bacterial isolate that you have by making use of the mega software and this video is in the continuation with the previous video where i had shown you how to upload the sequence of uh, 16s rrna gene into the gene bank where i had taken an example of bacillus subtilis uh, gene sequence of 16s rrna the link will be there in the description below so i will be using the same sequence today as well to construct the phylogenetic tree so let us continue yes so first thing that you will need is is the software which is called as a mega the current version of mega is mega 11 uh, the link for the software is over here which says mega software.net you just download the file from here and as soon as you download this file you will get an installer which is which which will look something like this as you can see it, it is of around 90 uh, megabytes just install the software it is a very easy process to install this software by just double click on it and keep pressing next every time it prompts for so once you have installed the software you are good to go now to construct the phylogenetic tree i have compiled some sequences of 16s rrna gene which will be there in this file notepad file so this is the sequence of my bacterial isolate which i had used uh, in my previous tutorial and i have uploaded this sequence into the gene bank so against this sequence i have also retrieved other sequences which are the uh, sequences of 16s rrna of different isolates from atcc which are the type strains how to re retrieve the sequence from ATCC I will show you in the next uh, video now uh, as you scroll down in this file uh, you can see that there are the sequences of other uh, organisms like this is from Bacillus subtilis uh, this is again from Bacillus subtilis the, the, the subspecies are different uh, then again this is the another subtilis the uh, subspecies is different as you can scroll down you will see megatarium so all the sequences that i have right now in front of you are the uh, different organisms with different uh, species but the same genus so all these are same genus which belongs to bacillus but the species and subspecies are different all these are the type strain sequences of 16s rrna and at the end I have kept one sequence of Pseudomonas erogenasa which I want to keep it as an outgroup so I will also explain what is an outgroup over here so first thing that you need to do is to construct the notepad file which is consisting of the FASTA files of 16s rRNA gene sequences okay now the immediate thing that you need to do over here is to convert this notepad file into a FASTA file so for that what you will do is that you will first go to this button which says file and then save it uh, or save it as save as option so press on the save as button and here we need to save it as a FASTA file okay so for that what you do is you just give the name like sequences you can use any other name of your choice and then you have to give the extension by providing a full stop and the extension has to be FASTA F-A-S-T-A -A FASTA and here when it says save as type you have to change it into all files okay so you have now saved the uh, sequences as the FASTA file you just press on the save button now what you need to do is that you have to check whether the FASTA file is there onto the desktop or not so we have this FASTA file over here extension is dot FASTA why we need to convert the sequences from the notepad file into the FASTA file because the mega software can read this as the FASTA file it cannot read directly the notepad file so once you have installed the mega you just open it the interface of mega will look something like this now uh, in this software the first thing or the first step is to do the multiple sequence alignment so for that you have to press on this button which says align so first press on the align and here it says build and alignment so press on it 
a new dialog box will open in front of you or a new window will open in front of you so here you choose this option which says create a new alignment and press ok so so here it will ask are you building a dna or protein sequence alignment so of course we are using the dna sequences so press on dna now this window will open in front of you which is another window which will look something like this now you just go to this option which says data and what we need to do is we need to bring this sequences which is there into the FASTA file into this window so for that you just go and press on this button which says open and in this open you you choose the second option which says retrieve sequences from file so press on that so now it says you first need to save the alignment before you can import new sequences so press on yes okay and give any name and it will be there on the desktop so desktop is selected over here so i will give the name alignment okay extension will be by default taken as dot mas press on save okay so uh, alignment has alignment file has opened over here and into this alignment file we want to import the sequences okay so for that what we need to do is that we need to go to the desktop why because this file of FASTA is located onto the desktop so I will just move on to the desktop and here I will choose this this file which has the extension FASTA and press on open so now as you can see in front of you all the sequences which were there has now opened into this new window so as you can see this onto the screen the second thing that you need to do uh, or the next thing that you need to do is you go to this alignment tab and you first need to select all the sequences by pressing on control a so you just press all the sequences control a go to alignment and then you choose this option which says align by cluster w you just press on it and press on ok keep the default settings as it is so press on ok so it is right now doing the pairwise sequence alignment okay so now as you can see so now as you can see uh, the alignment is appeared on your screen all the sequences are aligned in such a way that the sequences are arranged with the help of multiple sequence alignment so now just focus over here on the right hand side of uh, sorry the left hand side of the previous window which is the main interface of mega once you have done this multiple sequence alignment what you need to do is you need to press on this tab which says data and then you have to click on this phylogenetic analysis so as soon as I click on this phylogenetic analysis a new file will appear over here so let me do that so I am pressing on phylogenetic analysis focus on the left hand side of the the back window it says protein coding nucleotide sequence data we will press no because it is not and as soon as uh, the task is completed you will see this extra file that has been appeared over here so once you can see this extra file onto the main interface of mega you can now close this alignment so you can close this alignment so once this much is done your multiple sequence alignment is done and you have saved the multiple sequence alignment data onto your uh, uh, interface of mega uh, it will look something like this it has this symbol now you go to this option which says phylogeny so you press on this phylogeny and in this phylogeny you choose the option which says a neighbor joining trees there are multiple options it is up to you which kind of tree you want to make but for 16s rRNA gene sequences it is a general practice for all the microbiologists that they generally use neighbor joining trees so press on it and it says would you like to use the currently active data so this is the currently active data that you can see on the uh, main window of mega interface so you just press on yes so a new window will open in front of you if you are doing this for the first time uh, in the test of phylogeny none will be selected so this will be the default option if you are doing or if you are using this software for the first time uh, this will be the default option where it says none 
but here you need to choose this option which says bootstrap method and number of bootstrap replications you have to keep it at 1000 okay so once you have done these two uh, changes into this window you are good to go and now once all the settings are uh, been made over here especially in the phylogenic uh, phylogenic test you have to press on the button which says ok so what it will do it is progressing the data it is processing the data and the phylogenetic tree will appear in front of you like this okay so it is pretty simple process to do uh, there are so many options over here which you can play around you can explore yourself so now as you can see this is the strain which says bacillus subtilis which is my strain or which is a sequence of my strain okay and it is matching maximum with the uh, bacillus subtilis atcc strain which is 6051 okay so this is coming together in the same clad or the same cluster and as you can see at the bottom which is a pseudomonas aerogenosa this organism i have chosen because i wanted to have an outgroup in my phylogenetic tree okay so pseudomonas aerogenosa is right now coming as an outgroup over here now uh, there are so many options you can play around based on your choice and your wish so this is the original tree and in this tab on the top if you if you press on this button which says bootstrap consensus tree you will get a bootstrap uh, tree okay so you can use either this for your publication or you can also use the original tree for your publication now one thing that i want to show you over here is the layout okay so you can change the height of the tree like this and you can also change the width of the tree okay so it is up to your choice what you want to do there are so many different options over here you can uh, use or you can try out all the op options uh, and you can choose any options which you feel it is appropriate for your uh, research okay now if you want to change the type of the uh, tree you can change it from the top panel so here it says okay sorry um, it says if you want to have a radiant tree then you can have a tree like this then in traditional if you want to have curved branches then you can have a tree which which can look like this uh, you can try out all the different options which are available and you can choose the one which is most suitable to you so this was the short tutorial regarding how you can construct the phylogenetic tree with the help of the mega software in my next video i will show you why we should choose the uh, sequences of the type strains to construct the phylogenetic tree you cannot simply choose any random uh, file or, or uh, any random sequence of 16s rrna to construct a phylogenetic tree you have to choose the sequences of the type strains okay when you are comparing your sequences with the reference strain why because all the atcc cultures uh, or the cultures which are the type strains are deposited into ATCC so to make your tree more genuine I would recommend you to use the sequences which are from ATCC of the cultures which are type strains so I will show you that into my next video that how to retrieve the sequences from ATCC for about any bacteria that you are working on okay so I hope you like this video I will catch you guys in the next one Thank you.